Praise the Lord, my dear sisters and brothers. As the Lord comes among us in this blessed sacrament, our glorious risen Lord, let us ask of him all that we are in need of. As we kneel before him, we are surrendering ourselves. This is the beautiful uh, symbol of our surrender, kneeling before the Lord. And also, when we kneel before the Lord, we are worshipping him, we are adoring him, giving ourselves unto him. So, let us ask of the Lord all our needs, and also we shall ask the Lord, open our heart to see him, to receive the graces that he would shower upon us. This prayer in mind, let us invite the Lord as, sing together, as we sing together, O Sacrament Most Holy. glory and honor all praise and all thanksgiving is yours O Lord James and John came with their mother asking for the right and left thrones of yours the thrones on to your left and on to your right looking for their own glory but you told them you have to drink the cup that my father gives and I drink. They were ready. And that was their readiness to glorify you through their sufferings. Never to take any glory on the earth. Never to take any glory for themselves but to glorify you through their life. And the martyrdom, through the martyrdoms, through dying for you, they gained that glory for you, O Lord. And today, as we kneel before you, we to pray, Lord, we are not looking for any glory for ourselves. In everything, we look for your glory only, O oh Lord. And it is the honor that we receive every day to glorify you in everything that we do. And we look forward to sharing in your glory in eternity. Lord, enlighten our heart, enlighten our mind, so that we look for your glory and only for your glory in everything we do. Let our words, our thoughts and our actions add to your glory. With all our heart we pray. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. O sacrament most holy. Oh, sad. 
This morning as we worship, as we adore the Lord, we pray for a special deliverance for a set of people who are struggling with jealousy. Struggling with jealousy. That when others, including your siblings or your dear ones, or including your family members, your friends, your colleagues, when they are placed better, when they have more joy than what you have in your family, or they are able to do better, you are so much disturbed. Even to the extent praying for something bad upon them. Praying that they become a failure. Even praying that some physical sickness might affect them. Your mind cannot take anything good that happens to others. If you are struggling with this kind of a spiritual problem, especially jealousy, offer that into the hand of the Lord and pray for a deliverance. Pray for a deliverance that you will be able to pray when people prosper around you. Pray for a blessing upon others. You will be able to pray for a blessing upon others. So that spiritual the limitation that weakness offer it unto the Lord today. Let the merciful Lord touch and light in our heart. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. And we are continuing to celebrate the joy of the resurrection of our Lord. When we are longing to see the face of our glorious Lord. Through the scriptures we would see Jesus going, appearing to his apostles and enlightening them. Enlightening them about the scripture, fulfillment of the prophecies, and the effects of Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection. With those disciples who walked to Emmaus, leaving Jerusalem, he walked with them, talked. To them and enlightened and kindled their heart to know the scriptures to find the inner meaning of prophecies and it became and its fulfillment 
and they receive strength in the eucharistic celebration to go back the disciples who were afraid so afraid of the jews that they might be get killed they might get killed they closed to the door and sat inside for the fear of the jews but jesus came and lightened them and said i have made you free free of death i have conquered death and why are you afraid Jesus enlightened their heart and delivered them from the fear of death. My dear brother, my dear sister, we pray for that enlightenment where Jesus would talk to us. He will explain the scripture. He will help us to understand the deeper meaning of the words of Jesus and we will be able to understand it and live on it we will be able to receive more and more strength and inspiration from those words of jesus and that will set us above all our struggles and all our pains it will help us to stride over storms and winds of our life and always bring in hope hope that is never ending a hope that cannot be put off by anything in this world let us offer ourselves unto the lord and we pray lord speak to me let your glory shine upon me let your wisdom come upon me to see the deeper meaning of what you speak unto us and to live by the word that you speak unto us o light of the world guide me on the right way o my light jesus christ shine before me expel all darkness here we are to worship you here we are to adore and glorify you lord let your light shine upon me let your glory shine upon me i pray
Jesus rose there was another set of people who could not take the resurrection of Jesus the chief priests and those who put him to death those who wanted to get rid of him their hearts were not humble enough their hearts were not prepared to receive the glorious lord my dear brother my dear sister if you are not able to enjoy or rejoice in the presence of the lord rejoice in the resurrection of the lord there is something there is something not right within us and my be our heart is not humble enough prepared enough for the lord when saint paul speaks about jesus coming down taking the form of a servant and dying on the cross for us He beautifully tells everyone who listens to him let us have the same mind of Jesus same heart of Jesus a heart of humility humility to accept the will of the Lord only those who are humble enough to accept the will of the Lord will be able to rejoice in the resurrection of the Lord to praise him and glorify him with all our heart mind and soul Let us pray for that gift of humility. As we prayed gift of humility as against jealousy. As against every pride that is within us. Oh Lord, make my heart humble and humble and humble. Make my heart humble enough to take your will to say amen to your will. A heart like the heart of our blessed mother. a heart like the heart of the apostles after the pentecost a heart like the heart of jesus himself o oh lord my risen lord make my heart humble like yours remember a humble heart and only a humble heart can give everything into the hand of the lord as saint peter reminds humble yourself under the mighty hand of god He will exalt you in due time. Cast your anxieties unto him because he cares for you. Only a humble heart can cast anxieties into the hand of the Lord and can see the Lord taking care of them. We pray for that humble heart. For humility throughout this day to see the hand of the Lord in us. Everything that we are holding on to as ours and as victorious and successful and as offer into the hand of the lord with the humility to see the hand of the lord so once again we shall sing here i am to worship here i am to bow down here i am to worship here i am to bow down here i am to say that you're my god you Once again we sing together here I am to worship offering your family into the hand of the Lord offering all your sicknesses physical emotional and spiritual offer unto the Lord and say Lord here I am to worship you here I am to bow before you a lovely lord oh glorious lord We worship, we adore, we glorify our Lord. Hallelujah! 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 Praise the Lord, we worship the Lord. We adore the Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Surrendering all the court cases that are related to you. Hallelujah! 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 from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet let the holy blood of jesus the water that gushed forth from the heart of jesus touch and heal and cleanse hallelujah 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 hallelujah
as we are in the presence of the Lord offering everything. Let us pray for that special grace to take everything from the hand of the Lord. If the Lord wants me to suffer, go through this sickness. As Saint Paul says, I am completing the sufferings of Christ in my sufferings. So all that you are going through at this moment, be it your physical, emotional, spiritual weakness and sickness and pain and suffering, your family problems, the problems in relationships, brokenness, loneliness, financial struggles. Offer it into the hand of the Lord. Someone struggling to drink water, you cannot swallow. Something so wrong with your throat, you cannot swallow. Even water, liquids, the Lord is touching you. So we offer everything into the hand of the Lord and we pray. Lord, touch me. Lord, one, your, your one touch, your single touch will heal me. But Lord, I pray, along with my prayer for healing, I say, Jesus, if it is your will for me that I, my, I have to suffer, give me the grace. Never, never abandon me. Let me feel your strength and your presence throughout these moments of my suffering, so Jesus. We do pray as you prayed, Father, if this cup cannot pass me without drinking it, thy will be done. A blessed mother who always prayed for for the will of the Lord to be completed in you. Completely cooperated with the will of the Lord. Pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated. Testimonies. <clears throat> Lovita D'Souza from Pune. I have been participating in the online adorations of the various divine retreat centers ever since the pandemic. As my, own, my aunt would keep sending us the links. I always find the sharing insightful and grace-filled. Since April 2023, I had been receiving letters from the IT department concerning transactions done in the year 2015 and 16. It was difficult to get the required documents and suitably respond since the matter was very old. On 21st February 2024, Father announced that someone is looking for some important documents and Jesus is going to help you with the right alternatives. I claimed it for myself since that day, matters began to move fast and we were able to get all the required documents and make the submissions on time. On 16th March 2024, we are notified that the matter was resolved. Glory and praise to the Lord of heaven and earth, our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Lisa David. I wanted to thank God I was able to go to confession today. I want to thank God for revealing during the other day's retreat time. Father mentioned to go for confession and everything will be clear. I did that and now things are starting to get clearer. I also want to thank God for this too. Jesus has reduced my anxiety. I was to go for a test next week. So I went today for a practice session. 
But when I got there, they told me they did not have me booked. Normally, I would have been upset. They just gave me a number to call and told me they could not do anything. Honestly, I was not stressed. My anxiety seriously reduced. Thank you, Jesus. Since I could not take the practice, I was strongly inspired to go to 9 a.m. Mass at the nearby church, Our Lady of Lourdes. I normally do not go to this church, but started going on feast days of Our Lady of Velangani and recently for the Holy Mass since they have it at 7.30 a.m. Father also mentioned that some people do not go to church because there is no parking. This place is very difficult to park, but let me tell you, our lady always gives me a parking just near the church. So I was able to go to this mass and then later in the day to another church for confession. I had taken the day off to do the practice test, but God allowed me to do all of these other things instead. I called the testing number and they gave me a spot for next Monday for the practice test. So praise God for this tool, this tool that I wanted to get used to the facility before the actual test. All glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 My dear sisters and brothers, we get to see how mysteriously, how myster in mysterious ways the Lord is working in our life. When we heard about this anxiety being reduced, when we heard about the Lord helping in certain situations which we had no clue what to do, the Lord is with us and his ways are beyond our comprehension. All that we need to do is just to offer everything into the hand of the Lord and we'll continue to do that and we shall pray thy will be done. My dear sisters and brothers, you can send your testimonies when you have received graces, when you have received blessings uh, through the services from Divine Retreat Center Colombo. Please send us your testimonies uh, to testimonies.drcc at gmail.com. And this will, uh, this will help the faith of so many people out there, uh, those who are looking for God's hand in their lives, and they will be brought, draw, uh, they will be brought closer and closer to the Lord, and their faith strengthened. We continue to reflect upon the divine mercy this fourth day, as we began reflecting upon that inscription, "Jesus, I trust in you." <clears throat> we were saying, uh, "What does it mean to call the name Jesus?" And we started talking about trust. And yesterday we spoke when. Jesus, I trust in you. Trust means complete confidence in the Lord. And also trust means complete hope in the Lord. Now we continue to reflect upon what does it mean to say that I trust in you. Trust also means praising and worshipping the Lord in difficult moments. In uh, what we say, in, uh, uh, in the moments that we are... Uh, we, we feel like we are crushed. In those moments when we feel that we are burdened so much. So if we are able to worship the Lord, adore the Lord, that's an expression of our faith. So trusting in the Lord means not in the good times, worshiping and adoring the Lord. It's very easy. When everything is okay, it's fine for us to worship and adore the Lord. But when things are not all right with us, when things are going uh, in the other way, which we have not expected, even in those moments, are you able to worship? Are you able to praise the Lord? And that is when we say, I trust in you, Jesus. I trust in you, Jesus. There is a beautiful experience uh, written um, in the diary of St. Faustina, uh, paragraph 78. Paragraph 78, when, when Faustina, once I was being crushed by these dreadful sufferings, I went into the chapel and said, fr said from the bottom of my soul, do what you will with me, O Jesus. I will adore you in everything. May your will be done in me. O my Lord, 
and my God, and I will praise your infinite mercy. So when she was going through sufferings, she went into the chapel and told Jesus, Jesus, do whatever you want with me. Your will be done. And these are two prayers basically from the Bible where we see thy will be done. And also the proclamation of St. Thomas, my Lord and my God. And we continue reading. Suddenly I saw Jesus who said to me, I am always in your heart. An inconceivable joy entered my soul. And a great love of God set my heart aflame. I see that God never tries us beyond what we are able to suffer. Oh, I fear nothing. If God sends such great suffering to a soul, he upholds it with an even greater grace, although we are not aware of it. One act of trust at such moments gives greater joy to God than all hours passed in prayer filled with consolations. This is so beautiful. When she was praising God, when she was surrendering herself to God, even these moments of uh, struggles, in those trials, and Jesus reveals unto her, one act of trust at such moments gives greater glory to God than whole hours passed in prayer filled with consolation. Dear brother and my dear sister, when we are worshipping, adoring the Lord in moments of struggle, that adds greater glory. And that is true trust. That is true faith in the Lord. And when we read uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 13, this is uh, St. Paul's trust in the Lord, conviction in the Lord, even when he goes through the struggles. He says, no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you to be tempted beyond your strength. But with the temptation will also provide the way, to escape, way of escape that you may be able to endure it. This is St. Paul's great conviction saying that, yes, I am suffering, I am going through struggles, but I am sure God gives me the sufferings and temptation as much as I can take. He doesn't give me more than what I can take. That's the same thing St. Faustina also teaches us. Jesus, the divine mercy, the Lord of divine mercy teaches us through St. Faustina. And St. Paul again says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8, We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. We are afflicted, but not crushed. The Lord will not leave me to be crushed, to be dead. He will not give me more than what I can take. That is what the beauty of trust. I trust in the Lord even in those dreadful moments of my soul. And that one act of trust, praising and worshipping the Lord in those moments of struggle that can add more and more joy to the Lord than hours and hours spent in prayer of consolation. So that is continuation. So along with... Um, along with uh, our confidence in the Lord, hope in the Lord, this also an act of our faith, our trust in the Lord, praising Him, worshipping Him, even in the moments of our struggle. And now, trust also means abandoning oneself in the hands of the Lord. Abandoning oneself in the hands of the Lord. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, St. Teresa of Calcutta, she used to say, I am a pencil in the hand of the Lord. Just a pencil. He will sharpen it. He will cut it. And he will, he will do whatever he wants to do with that pencil. All I, that I need is to make sure that I am in his hand. Whatever he does, he does for his glory. 
he does for his goodness to be shown upon the people so all what i need i need to abandon myself into the hand of the lord so i give full freedom when i say i trust in you jesus i give you full freedom to take my life in your hand and do whatever you will whatever you want to do in paragraph number 134 134 we read beautifully oh my jesus you have tested me so many times in this short life of mine i have come to understand so many things and even such that now amaze me oh how good it is to abandon oneself totally to god and to give him full freedom to act in one soul so when i say jesus i trust in you means jesus i abandon myself completely into your hands i give full freedom i give full freedom that you work in my soul as you want and one more reflection upon when we say jesus i trust in you it is just being a little child to the heavenly father being a little child to the heavenly father one of the similes that is used here in paragraph number 1726 saint faustina says just like a child in moments of uh, fearful moments when the child sees something that he it cannot take it terrifies uh the the uh, something that terrifies this child the child will clasp on to the uh, on to the neck of the mother just will run and clasp on to the neck of the mother hold on to the mother the same way like a little child hold on to the lord that is what trust means just like a little child and that is where jesus says be a child uh before me that's what the lord says my child do not be afraid of those afraid of the house of the father once when i was deeply moved by the thought of eternity and its mysteries my soul became fearful and when i pondered about these little a little longer i started to be troubled by various uh, various doubts then jesus said to me my child do not be afraid of the house of your father leave these vain in inquiries to the wise of this world i want to see you always as a little child i want to see you always as a little child this is what the lord reminds saint faustine i want to be uh, i want to see you just like a little child so my dear brother my dear sister when we pray jesus i trust in you remember we are uh, we shall recap the whole thing remember when i call jesus i'm calling all blood and water which gush forth from the heart of jesus as a fountain of mercy that's what i mean when i call jesus and i trust in you trust means i uh, have the confidence i have everlasting hope i praise and worship you in moments of struggle i'll be like a little child and i will abandon myself into your hands o oh lord and this is a prayer that we make hide me in your mercy protect me with your mercy and protect my soul from everything that terrifies my soul do not disappoint me in your mercy lord so these are the prayers that we make when we pray so let us make that prayer jesus i trust in you knowing its true meaning it's a vessel that the lord has given for us to approach the fountain of divine mercy so let us keep in mind when we pray that and let's pray as much as possible this day jesus i trust in you jesus i trust in you and receive more and more grace of divine mercy in our heart let's kneel down before our lord and now we shall say the divine mercy chaplet we shall pray for our spiritual strength for this day 
especially as we surrendered and prayed for all those who are struggling with the problem of jealousy we also include all those who are struggling with pride they just live in this world not even thinking of the et- eternal life everlasting world we pray for a spiritual freedom in them if they are in standing in need of deliverance let us pray to the lord to deliver them through the divine mercy showered upon them and we pray the opening prayer you expired jesus but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world of found of life and fathomable divine mercy envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus are found of mercy for us i trust in you o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a fount of mercy for us i trust in you o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a fount of mercy for us i trust in you our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen the apostles creed i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen eternal father we offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father we, we offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father we offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins 
and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father we, we offer, offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one a holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world the closing prayer eternal god in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself amen let's now do the seventh day of our divine mercy novena today bring to me the souls who especially venerate and glorify my mercy and immerse them in my mercy these souls sorrowed most over my passion and entered most deeply into my spirit <clears throat> they are living images of my compassionate heart these souls will shine with a special brightness in the next life not one of them will go into the fire of hell i shall particularly defend each one of them at the hour of death <clears throat> o merciful jesus whose heart is love itself receive into the abode of your most compassionate heart the souls of those who particularly extol and venerate the greatness of your mercy these souls are mighty with the very power of god himself in the midst of all afflictions and adversities they go forward confident of your mercy these souls are united to jesus and carry all mankind on their shoulders these souls will not be judged severely but your mercy will embrace them as they depart from this life 
let us pray eternal father turn your merciful gaze upon the souls who glorify and venerate your greatest attribute that of your fathomless mercy and who are enclosed in the most compassionate heart of jesus these souls are a living gospel their minds are full of deeds of mercy and their spirit overflowing with joy sings a canticle of mercy to you o most high i beg you o god show them your mercy according to the hope and trust they have placed in you let there be accomplished in them the promise of jesus who said to them i myself will defend as my own glory during their lifetime and especially at the hour of their death those souls who will venerate my fathomless mercy amen o lord jesus my merciful lord i offer my heart o jesus let your mercy flow into my heart like a river when that mercy flows into my heart it be like a parched land getting water and it's getting life again and life sprouts o oh lord let your mercy flow like a river into my soul I knelt before him one stormy night His face was a torn in a golden light I felt so unworthy I wanted to run and hide but his gaze was so intense I felt paralyzed like a river oh flood my soul wash me clean and make me whole divine mercy like a river oh flood my soul wash me clean and make me whole let's offer our Lord. to our lord all the areas of our life where we need conversion those adamant natures of our life we are not able to tolerate others put up with others even not able to take some words that is coming from others we don't want to be guided by others commanded by others we don't want to obey so for all those weaknesses into the hand of the lord and pray o oh, divine mercy that converts my heart into a heart of a child of god i pray o oh, divine mercy flood my soul like a river divine mercy like a river oh flood my soul wash me clean and make we are preparing to receive the blessing of our lord we shall pray with all our heart mind and soul lord as we reflect upon your merciful gaze upon us as we pray for your mercy to flood my soul let me reflect your mercy upon others as well as you asked us to be merciful as your heavenly father is merciful Lord as I experience the mercy let me be merciful to others I pray Let's receive the blessing of our Lord 
given them bread from heaven having in itself all delight lord jesus christ you gave us the eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death may our worship of the sacrament of your most holy body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the father and the holy spirit one god forever and ever and mother mother of mercy in the seed and pray for us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and as us some brothers on this 7th that's a sunday first sunday of this month coming sunday we are celebrating the feast of divine mercy here at divine retreat center with a one day retreat the first sunday retreat in english from 9 am to 4 pm and we'll be having all the solemn celebration of divine mercy the proclamation of the message of mercy the solemn procession with a picture of divine mercy and confessions so those who are around please come and join in that retreat that one day retreat celebrating the feast of divine mercy here at divine retreats in the colombo and father agustin valluran will be there with us for the celebration of the feast let us now prepare to celebrate the holy eucharist
We're together again Just praising the Lord We're together again In what a Something good is going to happen Something good is in store We're together together again just thanking the Lord we're together again in what a something good is going to happen something good They praised in unison your conquering hand, O Lord, for wisdom opened mouths that were mute and gave eloquence to the tongues of infants. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us continue to offer all our prayers at the foot of the Lord in this dear Christ. We pray for more and more graces of our risen Lord for this day in our life. Maybe if you are going through a struggle that you cannot find an answer. Just offer that into the hand of the Lord. The Lord is our answer. The Lord is our solution. The Lord is our way. And we pray for all those who are preparing for the couples retreat and the Sinhala retreat here at Divine Retreat Center. The Lord's blessings upon all the preparations that they are making. Their prayers for their family and marriage. Prayers for the childless couples. And during the inner healing retreat in Sinhala, we pray that the Lord's healing touch change their hearts and make their life whole. Brethren, now let us recall to mind our sins, our failures, and our shortcomings. We shall ask our Heavenly Father to forgive us and to make us worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries of our salvation. So with a contrite heart, we pray together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. 
We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. You killed the author of life whom God raised from the dead. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, verses 11 to 26. In those days, while the lame man clung to Peter and John, all the people, utterly astounded, ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's. And when Peter saw it, he addressed the people, Men of Israel, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we have made him walk? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus, whom you delivered over and denied in the presence of Pilate when he had decided to release him. But you denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked for a murderer to be granted to you. And you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. And his name, by faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. And the faith that is through Jesus has given the man this perfect health in the presence of you all. And now, brothers, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. But what God foretold by the mouth of all the peoples, that his Christ would suffer, he thus fulfilled. Repent, therefore, and turn back, that your sins may be blotted out, that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Christ appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive, until the time for restoring all the things about which God spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets long ago. Moses said, The Lord God will raise up for you a prophet like me, from your brothers. You shall listen to him in whatever he tells you, and it shall be that every soul who does not listen to that prophet shall be destroyed from the people. And all the prophets who have spoken from Samuel and those who came after him also proclaim these days, you are the sons of the prophets, of the covenant that God made with your fathers, saying to Abraham, and in your offspring shall all the families of the earth be blessed. God, having raised up his servant, sent him to you first to bless you by turning every one of you from your wickedness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial psalm. Your response is, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, 
how majestic is your name through all the earth. What is man that you should keep him in mind? The son of man that you should care for him. Response. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. Yet you have made him little lower than the angels. With glory and honor you crowned him. Gave him power over the works of your hands. Response. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. You put all things under his feet, all of them sheep and oxen. Yes, even the cattle of the fields, birds of the air and fish of the sea. And make their way through the waters. Response. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. Acclamation. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the two disciples told what had happened on the road to Emmaus and how he was known to them in the breaking of the bread. As they were talking about these things, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were startled and frightened and thought they saw a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet that it is I myself, touch me and see. For a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still believed, disbelieved for joy and were marveling, he said to them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of boiled, broiled fish, and he took it and ate before them. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, here something that we see Jesus is saying, I'm not a spirit. I am Jesus. This is one of the challenge that Jesus faces when he appears to his disciples to prove himself to be the same Jesus or rather a glorified Jesus. Jesus who was crucified and who died. And that is where Jesus says, see my hands and my feet, don't you see the wounds? 
than wounds that nails made on my hands and my feet so jesus has to prove to them that it is jesus himself now when uh, we were children or i do not know whether you have experiences when we were children there were many stories and including many horror movies which has brought some ideas about spirits even we haven't seen even we haven't uh, personally experienced and all that it's it's kind of a fear and one of them is they uh, for our culture for our understanding one of them they are always coming for vengeance they are never good they are always coming for vengeance and they have special powers they cannot love anyone but vengeance take vengeance see there are so many stories that that bring fear upon us about the world after this about those who have passed away and here jesus is undoing all those fear that is in their heart there is no body for the spirit now you see my body so jesus is undoing that fear in them to prove that it is jesus himself and he was successful in proving and three three stages that we see jesus came they were afraid jesus says come i have flesh and bones touch still they could not believe so when they saw jesus first they could not believe secondly he said come and touch they could not believe third jesus asked is there anything for me to eat here i'll show you i can eat and then they started to believe then jesus this is the most important part of this gospel passage as i believe it is jesus opened their heart to understand the scripture here there is a spiritual truth that we are learning today in the scripture even when we know the whole scripture unless we have faith in jesus that he is true and living we cannot get hold of the meaning of the scripture here jesus so there are two steps in this gospel passage we read or rather three the first jesus proving himself to be jesus or i am he i am the one who died for you on the cross and i am risen even those people who were all saying that jesus is risen but when he came they could not believe so jesus has to prove the first thing jesus showed himself to them giving them a personal and primary experience of himself the risen lord second opening their heart to understand the scripture opening their heart to know the meaning of the scripture so the first act is about bringing faith in jesus second understanding the scripture and third jesus says you are witnesses there should be preaching of repentance from jerusalem starting from jerusalem to all over the world you are witnesses you are going to be my preacher you are going to be my disciple you are going to my be my witness and that precedes the first two steps one faith second understanding scripture and third becoming going out for the lord so our thrust today is understanding the scripture because when those disciples who were walking to emmaus also jesus walked with them opened their heart to understand the scripture unless we realize jesus unless we believe in jesus unless we proclaim our faith in jesus we cannot understand the scripture completely we may be reading scripture every day but read it with faith knowing that this is the word that jesus god has spoken to us then it'll start making sense to us it'll unfold that is what beautifully in the psalms 119 verses 130 it says it will unfold it'll unfold before you so faith precedes our understanding of the scripture 
unless faith you know when when we look at our friends those who do not belong to those who do not have faith in jesus this book the book bible can be read by them just like a beautiful story book a story of a miracle worker and so many stories the prophecies won't make sense to them the sayings of jesus won't sen- make sense to them more than a good human being talking the commandments of the scriptures won't make sense to them unless they have faith faith so faith precedes understanding the scripture and faith is in the living lord and today in the gospel passage we would see jesus is risen he died for us and he is risen for us so that faith when it enters the heart of the disciples their hearts were opened to understand the scripture as the fulfillment of the prophecies his death and resurrection was the fulfillment of the prophecies and with that they are made to go out for the lord so dear sisters and brothers as we also reading the gospel passage reading the scriptures sometimes it doesn't make sense to us it will make sense to us only when we have true faith in jesus so i would suggest before you start reading the gospel or reading the scriptures say a prayer and most beautifully you can say the apostles creed and that will proclaim that will help you to understand the scripture better that will help you to understand the deeper meaning what it means what god means it will unfold and it will be revealed for you so my dear sisters and brothers this is what the lord wants to tell us proclaim faith to understand the scripture and understand the scripture to become a witness of christ we are all called to be disciples and witnesses of christ but how much do we understand the scripture and how much can we understand the scripture unless we proclaim the faith so let our faith help us to understand the scripture to become witnesses of christ let us pray god our heavenly father when we go through scripture sometimes it's just some words put together not making sense but it makes sense to us only when we proclaim this is your word and when we proclaim that you are our god when we have this feeling our god has spoken to us in the scripture it starts to make sense it starts to see the unfolding of the revelations in the scripture and that will make us a true disciple a witness of christ o oh lord we know we are called to be witnesses but we struggle to understand your word for we struggle to proclaim our faith today give us a grace to proclaim your faith throughout so that we are able to understand your word to receive them as your word and to live that word as a witness of Christ we make our prayer through Christ our lord amen, amen.
pray brethren that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church graciously be pleased o lord to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you o lord but in this time above all to lord you at more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people excels in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of all earth and heaven sing his honor in your praise he is blessed who comes in the name of the lord sing You are indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and the working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name Therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore o lord as we celebrate the memorial of this the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his spirit his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in christ may he make of us an eternal offering to you 
so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Malcolm, Cardinal Ranjit, our Archbishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Rejoicing in the resurrection of our Lord, we shall pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So let us offer each other a loving sign of peace. Lamb of God, take you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion 
My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Times of refreshing You in your presence No greater blessing Than being with you My soul O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us serve the Lord in love and peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Prayer for priests. O Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained their anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, uh, this first Friday, that is tomorrow, day after tomorrow, first Saturday, and the following day, the first Sunday, we have one day retreats here at Divine Retreat Center, Colombo. First Friday, uh, we have special devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the retreat will be in Sinhala. First Saturday, special devotion to the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Mother and our retreat will be in Tamil. First Sunday, being the Sunday of Divine Mercy Feast, we will have solemn celebration of the Divine Mercy Feast and we will have proclamation of the Divine Mercy confessions and um, and the procession with the Divine Mercy picture. Father Augustine Valuran will be with us in these three days of our one-day retreat. And the residential retreats for this month, April 11th, the 11th to 14th, we have couples residential retreat. And there are a few more seats available. Those couples who, can, who would like to come for the retreat, please book for the retreat through our office. And <coughs> if any of you are not able to come 
with your spouse uh, for certain situations. Please come by yourself and pray for the family and marriage and for your children. And also we will be praying specially for childless couples. So please send them into this retreat. And the following week from 18 to the uh, 21st, we have uh, Sinhala Residential Inner Healing Retreat. And uh, uh, please uh, keep all these prayers, yeah, all these retreats in your prayer. And Father Michael is in Singapore do you, uh, in the Church of Divine Mercy uh, during this uh, Divine Mercy Novena. And every morning this month we have dedicated to reflect upon the Divine Mercy for the morning adoration and uh, retreat. And these days we are doing the Novena to Divine Mercy tomorrow and day after, day 8 and 9, and we will be celebrating Divine Mercy Feast also during the morning retreat and adoration. God bless you. God bless you, Father. He that believeth, he that believeth, hath everlasting life. He that believeth in the Father and the Son, hath everlasting life. When I get to heaven, gonna walk all around, having everlasting life. Going to sit by. to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.